Hey everyone, it's your buddy, it's your pal. I'm Karnak and this is Star Wars Armada Explained. Appreciate you joining me. We're going to be looking at the upgrade card Clone Gunners today. Clone Gunners is a card for the Grand Army of the Republic. Um, if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the card, you'll see the upgrade uh, icon that it equips to, which is a weapons team. Opposite corner, you'll see its point cost, which is four points. And again, it's faction specific for the Republic. So the card reads... Um, you got clone gunners. Below that, you have clone only. And we'll touch on this again. We'll read the whole card and we'll break down each point. So clone only. Concentrate fire command. You may discard one concentrate fire token assigned to another friendly ship at distance 1 to 5 of the defender. If you do, add one blue die set to the accuracy icon to your attack pool. So let's break down each of these. What does clone only mean? Well, if you look at ship cards, um, I don't think it says it on here, but essentially you'll see things that will say things like clone or, clone or bombard, um, some other words and things are on there. If you look at separatist ships, they'll say like droid. So what this means is uh, you can only equip it to a ship that says it's clone. Now, so far, uh, only the Venators and Acclimators have weapon team slots on them, and they are clone ships. So there's not really any difference right now but maybe in the future maybe they'll make different things or they'll have different types of keywords where maybe uh you'll have like a venator that has a weapons team but it's it's like Mon it's manned by like mon calamari or something like that there's no clones on it now i don't know if that's true or not i'm just saying like that might be an example of why they have that there i personally don't quite know what all these kinds of little keywords do yet uh, it definitely seems like they're giving themselves room to expand the future. But spend enough on that. Pretty much this card can be equipped to any Acclimator or Venator at this point in time. And those are the only ships that can take this card. Okay, so let's get into the card reading. So it states on there you've got the Concentrate Fire symbol. Meaning you need to be resolving that command before you can use Clone Gunner's effect. Now... I'm going to come back to this point because it's actually an important distinction. I'm going to run through the card. We'll come back to it. Okay. So you, uh, if you're resolving the Concentrate Fire Command, whether that be the dial or a token or a dial and token together, um, once you're resolving the command, uh, when you're attacking something, again, if you uh, are able to discard a Concentrate Fire token that's on another friendly ship, and that ship needs to be at distance 1 to the 5 of the Defender, and then if you, you do, you get your blue dot. All right, so let's walk this through in an example. Let's say that this is a Venator 1, which throws three red die out its front. We're going to be engaging this Recusant at long range. Um, let's go ahead and give these ships speed, just so we're keeping things consistent with rules. So let's go ahead and throw our three red dice at it. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, let's go ahead and just, you know, for the purpose of this example, let's set these all to hit. So we've got a double, a hit, and a crit icon, but no accuracies. Well, that's unfortunate because that... Recusant's got an evade on it, the only large ship in the game that naturally comes with an evade. And if it wanted to, it could like cancel that double die, it's only going to take two damage. But aha! We have got clone gunners. So, let's see here. If, uh, let's move this ship a little bit more forward. Okay, so how do you know if you're able to utilize clone gunners to get its effect? Well, it, the first thing you need to look at is... Do you have another friendly ship at distance 1 to 5 of the defending ship you're attacking? So let's check the range band. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up, oh, we look at distance 1 to 5 here. So the console charger here, not at distance 1 to 5. But this uh, acclimator is at distance 1 to 5. Now for new players, I'm going to specifically point this out. Old players, this is old hat by now. But again, I try to make sure everyone's understanding. When you're, when you're checking distance for a card effect, if it's not an attack, you're ranging from closest point to closest point, plastic to plastic. You're not measuring from cardboard to cardboard. Uh, the only things that you do not measure from is like shield dials. You don't ever measure from shield dials or their frames. They're not included. Pretend they don't exist um, when checking from closest point to closest point. All the game cares about when checking for a card's effect, uh, what's the closest point, closest point, plastic base to plastic base. 
Uh, again, the only time that you range from cardboard to cardboard is if it specifically states that, um, like when you're trying to conclude like for an attack or something like that. Okay, but in this case, we've determined that the this uh, acclimator is at distance one to five of the defending ship. Okay, we've satisfied those conditions. Now the next thing we need to look at, does it have a concentrate fire token assigned to that ship? Okay, we look at the, the acclimator. Yes, we see there's a concentrate fire token on that ship. All right, now we can finally get to actually fulfilling this card's effect. So again, we've ensured that we're resolving a concentrate fire uh, command. Oh, right, let's say that the Venator had a, a, a dial. Um, so we'll just we'll add a red, for example. Okay, and then uh, we've checked that we have another friendly ship at distance 1 to 5 of the Defender, which is the Recusant. We've checked to see it's got a concentrate fire token. Okay, we're now going to spend that token. It's spent. Now we can add a blue die. If I can do it here, there we go. Now we can add a blue die set to the accuracy icon uh, on its die facing. And now we could be like, aha, now I can spend that blue accuracy. I can lock that evade token. And now I can, you know, shove some of this damage in, providing that, you know, other card effects and things um, don't potentially affect the, the pool outcome. But so that's Clone Gunners in a nutshell. So now let's get into some of the intricacies, as I've mentioned. So one thing I do want to point out is that Clone Gunners um, also works on if you're targeting enemy squadrons. So if you've got an enemy squadron that you're flacking, and again, it's at distance 1 to 5, because it states on there, um, all you need is another friendly ship at distance 1 to 5 of the Defender. So one thing that I've really liked is like for Venators, if they have uh, linked turbo laser towers, they've got the double blue. So if you're attacking that squadron, you chuck double blue at it. In this case, we already got the double accuracy, but let's say we, we had the double hit. Uh, and then you can be like, all right, now I'm going to add uh, LTT. I'm going to add double black. And in a situation like this, if it was a scatter ace, you're like, oh man, all that damage went to waste. But you can be like, aha, I can use clone gunners. I can discard the concentrate fire token off this acclimator, add a blue die, set to the accuracy icon, and now boom, you're just shoving you know, all this damage and stuff onto an enemy squadron. You can lock that scatter um, or another token that is on the defending squadron. Okay. Let's get back into some other things. So again, we've determined you can use clone gunners on enemy ships and enemy squadrons. Um, let's see here. Oh, right. So uh, I've got the munitions resupply card out here to show you. Um, so when you're discarding this concentrate fire token, it needs to be a token actually assigned to a friendly ship. Um, it can't be something that is on an upgrade card. Like, for example... If this munitions resupply had a concentrate fire token on its upgrade card, you just can't pick the token on that card. Because that's not assigned to the ship, that's assigned specifically to that card. Um, so you can't just yoink tokens directly from an upgrade card, it has to actually be a token assigned to the ship. Okay, I want to make sure I was pointing that out and being clear on that. Uh, the final thing I want to talk about... And this is something that I've not ever really had to consider much before, but once I talked it through, some people were like, oh yeah, this totally works, and kind of like, duh, why didn't we ever think about this before? So for Concentrate Fire, uh, when is this command actually resolving? Like, when, when you spend that dial and token, are you immediately forced to having to resolve their effects right then and there? Or... Are you able to wait? And some people are like, well, why does that matter? Well, for example, let's say that if we were at close range with the Venator to the Recusant, and we're throwing the three red and the three black die, let's say, for example, this red die was again, a double hit, and like you didn't get a any accuracy, so you're not able to like lock a brace token or lock the evade token. Um, what some people are wanting to know is if you spend a concentrate fire dial or token do you immediately have to do its effect um before moving on to something else so some people are, are essentially in short wanting to know hey can i use clone gunners to add a blue die uh that's set to the accuracy icon then use concentrate fires dial to add another blue die since that blue die is now in the pool 
and then use if I spend a token and then use a reroll um, on on your ready to ship. And in short, yes. And let me walk through why that is. So for concentrate fire per RNG, the the effect of adding the die or rerolling a die would depend on if you're using a, a dial or token or both together. These are an effect. These are an attack effect that take place on step three. So when you spend these, the dial or the token in that attack, essentially you're saying, hey, I'm declare I'm using concentrate fire dial and I'm also going to be using this token. Um, you are not immediately forced to then resolve the effect. You've declared that you're spending them and that you will choose to do that effect or not you can always decide not to use those effects if you don't want to but you're not immediately forced into that decision you can spend them and then decide when you actually want to fully resolve the effect this actually is in line with like how squadron command already works or repair um, or navigate uh, so it only makes sense that this is actually the case for concentrate fire as well so again for some of the more advanced players where you can declare that you're spending that dial and that token in this attack. You're not immediately forced into adding a die or re-rolling a die, just that at some point you are able to resolve that effect when you choose to. Uh, you could add Clone Gunner's effect to add a blue die. And then now once you have that blue die in your attack pool, then you can use Concentrate Fire to add another blue die if you want. Uh, or again, any color of die that you have in your attack pool at that moment, uh, and then you know reroll, etc. So I think I've dwelt on that point long enough. I think that you players uh, have the idea and get the concept of what's going on here. So that actually makes clone gunners like a lot more useful than I initially thought, because especially for ships that don't have blue dies initially in their attack pools, this is a way to generate that and then use concentrate fire to kind of add more more blue dice or any dice that you may want depending on you know what you get or not so um oh and the final thing i do want to touch on is that when you do add this blue die from clone gunners if you want to re-roll or otherwise modify or use that die for anything else you absolutely can um okay so i think that's clone gunners i uh, i'm not aware of anything else that i feel like i've missed but of course if you have any questions or concerns um need further explanation on something Please be sure to point it out. Let me know. You all are fantastic. And uh, hey, I'll catch you next time.